Well, maps are being drawn that will decide Pennsylvania's political future. And the people involved in that process are asking for your feedback. Hannah Brent joins us now live to tell us how it's going. Hannah. Yeah, Alicia, Valerie, this is our congressional map now, but lawmakers are about to toss this and start from scratch. Both chambers of our legislature have to pass a new version of the map, and then it has to be approved by the governor. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Monday night, a tale of two hearings. Thank you all so much. Um, have a great rest of your night. One held by PA House lawmakers, the other by Governor forward. Wolf's advisory council. These hearings are Man, I mean, they're great. The goal is to get input from as many people as possible. PA citizens are counting on him. But there haven't been many people. It is what it is. Uh, we provide as much access as we can. Between both meetings, less than 10 people came to speak, even though redistricting impacts every one of the millions of Pennsylvanians. It is representatives elected from these districts that go down and, and act as the voice of Pennsylvanians in Washington, D.C. So it's really important, I believe, for the people of Pennsylvania to be able to have their voices heard. So why aren't more people showing up? This is the pre-work in developing maps. I think more people are interested in the actual maps, but that doesn't help us develop maps. You know, that input at front ends much better than complaining about it on the back end. Do having forums like this, discussions like this, still matter if people don't show up to talk about it? I think so. I think the fact that there's an invitation, um, that we had this available to people is important. Last time around, Pennsylvania's map was so gerrymandered, it had to be redrawn by the court. The hope is to avoid that this time. What does the electric really want and what can we, um, garnish from that and how do we develop a better map that's not going to end up in court as they prepare to scrap the maps these hearings are meant to help even if they are small i am hopeful i am hopeful because as i said this is the first time they've had this much public input Pennsylvania is losing one of its congressional seats because our state's population isn't growing as fast as some other states. So now we'll have 17 congressional districts instead of 18. Live at the Capitol, Hannah Brandt, ABC 27 News.